In this tutorial, you will learn about wireframe and surface design. To invoke the wireframe and surface design, let's go to mechanical design and wireframe and surface design. We are going to learn the different tools that you can see in the surfaces toolbar. To use any of these tools, you need to have a basic wireframe. So, let's firstly create a line. Go for the line and create a point here. The point could be 0, 0, 0. And the next point could be 100, 0, 0. And click on OK. And then you could go for select the line and go for extrude command. And then you could select the direction that you would like. In this case, let's go for the Z axis. Click on OK and you have the surface being created here. As you can see, if you see the thickness of the surface, it's 0 mm thickness. So this, what you can see is a 0 mm thickness surface and it's a theoretical thickness. This thickness cannot be achieved in practical mode. So let's try creating some more surface. So, to understand, it is not necessary that you, you need to create line using the 3D, the 3D option from the wireframe. You could also use a sketcher and create any figures and you could extrude that as well. So, one thing that you, you need to understand is that the surfaces that you create is not comparable with the far design solids because that is a solid and this is a surface so this is hollow as you can see let's try the revolve command so as we try the revolve command let me create create a, a basic sketch here and go for a revolve command and let's go for the z-axis as rotation and give 360 degrees as the angle of rotation as you can see this is the somewhat looks like a pot so you could also edit the profile make changes and that changes will be reflected in the model if it's not reflected you could use the control u option to update also you have this option over here update all that updates in my case it's frozen because in my case it's already updated it's in the automatic update mode that's about the revolve command now let's see the next command that's the sphere sphere is pretty easy you just have to specify the center of the sphere and you just have to specify if, the, if it's a full sphere or a half sphere so once you specify the full sphere you just have to specify what's the radius that you would like for the sphere so whatever place you keep you get it so here if you go for this option you will have different knobs which you can play with so as you can see based on your requirement you could use the full sphere or half sphere so it's pretty smooth to work with and a pretty good option so you'll be able to in the future you'll be able to use this command to create uh, varying types of sphere surfaces Now the next option that we would try is the cylinder. To try the cylinder, click on it and specify the center point and to specify the direction and specify the radius. 
radius could be specified and from that point you can specify the limit what's the limit and you could also specify the radius so it's pretty smooth and very reactive so let's try so if you go for the mirror extent length 1 length 2 would be um, frozen so it just reflects the length that we give on the first one don't don't uh, confuse yourself that you could all only give the dimension by moving it you could also give it by uh, changing the values in the box here so that's about the cylinder now let's see about the offset for the offset click on the offset select the surface and select the offset you could select the amount of offset that you would like and just drag it to see the the result so if you drag it inside it's a negative value if you don't like a negative value you could always if you add the value here and go for the reverse direction it always reflect so that's about the offset value you have option here to offset on both sides so these these kind of um, options are very useful when you work with the uh, wireframe and surface design in the future models so let's see the remaining options of surface toolbar in the next tutorial i hope you enjoyed thank you